Hello everyone, Mr. Unnamed here with a Space Engineers video. It has been a long, long time since I put anything out, I know. I apologize. Really, it comes down to me not exactly not having time, but not having any really good ideas to make any content. So hopefully with this new Space Engineers update, that'll change. Because Along with this update, we also got some rather interesting things. Uh, by the way, this is the Bastion Heavy Destroyer. I think I showed it in one of my very early videos. But uh, yeah, I've done a bit of uh, refitting and tweaking and other nice stuff. And it's a very, very slow tedious ship to fly, unfortunately. I cannot stick enough engines on this to really make it very effective. Now, let's go ahead and open this hangar, which is a very marked improvement compared to the pistons and the blast doors that I was using. A lot more secure and a lot more uh, prone to staying in place when I'm maneuvering around. So, <clears throat> so let me go ahead and show you. This is a lot of engines and I need this just to be able to move this massive hulk of, well, it's pretty much two layers thick of heavy armor all around and entirely throughout. It's just massive. And as you can see, I've got so many thrusters and all that just sticking out everywhere. It's a nightmare. So, why don't we use the new and improved new and improved? No, just the new hydrogen thrusters to try and get this thing moving a little bit faster. Now, let's go ahead and get inside the cockpit, and I'll show you exactly how slow this thing is, and uh, some of the problems associated with this thing. So, let's go ahead and do a speed run. And we're moving, we're moving. All right, not so bad. Now, let's try to stop. And we're stopping. We're stopping. If you look in the uh, lower right-hand side, we're losing about one meter a second in speed. Which means if I was going 104 meters a second, it would probably take 104 seconds just to come to a complete stop. That's not good, especially if you're trying to do like a docking maneuver or something. You'd have to like turn the ship sideways maybe? No. No, not really, because even then I'm not losing speed very much faster. So if I needed to make a high-speed approach and then a stop somewhere, yeah, it, it just wouldn't happen. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slap some of the new hydrogen engines on this in a very sloppy, haphazard kind of way, because whatever. And uh, we'll see if I can improve the speed and then improve the stopping power of this ship. So, let's go ahead and get that done. Okay, and we're back. I put two rear-facing hydrogen engines of the large variety as my game lags out. Okay, there we go. We're back. On top of this uh, hydrogen tank, I also put one forward facing hydrogen thruster and we're going to fly 
to the cockpit now. Set up uh, some of our actions. And see what kind of speed I can get using my regular thrusters and the hydrogen thrusters. So, once I get that set up, we'll be right back. Okay, got everything set up now. There we go. Now, let's just go ahead and do our regular speed test. Let's get up to 050. Let's see how long that takes. And then let's see how long it takes to stop. There we go. And yeah, like before, it's stopping at about one a second. So let's fire up one of uh, my forward-facing hydrogen thrusters, the single one actually, and uh, see how much that stops us. Well, we seem to be stopping a little bit slower this time. We're still overshooting by quite a bit, but it's better, I suppose. Now, <clears throat> we have the two topmost thrusters here, and well, let's see how fast those can propel us forward. Now, I'm going to turn my inertial dampeners off and just fire up the rear-facing engines. And, well, yeah, can't really do much with that. They're on, they're not thrusting. So, let's just change that a little bit. Okay, so, let's go ahead and see how much thrust these two engines can give us. Huh. Just these two engines are giving us a pretty decent amount of thrust. Imagine that just maybe four or five of these engines could probably propel me faster than, uh, let's see, five, six, seven, nine, thirteen, right? One, two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, yes, thirteen large thrusters on top of the four, six, eight small thrusters. But the problem is getting that hydrogen tank in there on top of piping everything up, man, that would add so much mass to the ship. However, I have a feeling that's not exactly what these were intended for. I think that these were intended to get you on and off planet. It would probably be much more effective in atmosphere than outside of atmosphere and in space. But who knows? We'll see with the planet update. I'm absolutely certain. And who knows? I might actually build something pretty interesting with this. So, until next time, See you around.